Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a bonus love reading for Virgos. Hope you guys are all doing well. This is a reading for single Virgos that haven't found that perfect person, that soulmate connection that you're looking for, okay, that partner. Any obstacles in your path? Anything that you may need to deal with uh, before you meet this person? Something that might be blocking you, that kind of thing. It doesn't have to be anything big. Uh, what you can do, what action you can take, all right, to move towards this person, to keep it moving, all right, so any actions you may need to take, and it's also food for thought about who is actually right for you, who's the person that fits you the best, all right, there'll be some food for thought, and it's meant for you to take some time to think about who is really right for you, who's good for you, not so much what you want, but who's good for you, okay, because the universe generally tosses you people, right either to teach you lessons so that you can go through those changes all right and you can learn from so that when you move towards that person who is good for you you know it's like they, there has to be that balance of course but you don't always get exactly what you think you want you get more what you need and it's whether or not you can find that within that person okay so there will be food for thought so where you may meet this person, okay, you may run into them, that sort of thing. So we'll see. I'm finding it's not coming out super clear. I may actually purchase another deck that has more images I can work with, okay. And because, uh, I mean, there's a bazillion places with a general reading where it could be. Hopefully it comes out. And maybe when. So again, keep an open mind on the when. You may meet them, okay. It could have to do with obstacles, things like that. And also, any guidance from Spirit, okay, is the last card. Any guidance, messages from Spirit they want you to know about why you haven't found your person and what you may need to do to move forward. Okay, beautiful energy, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo. There we go. Oh. Oops, oop, oop, oop. Don't want them to be face up. <laughs> yes, seen it anyway. I know you did. I kind of seen it. I think I know what it is. There we go. Here we go. Why have you not found your perfect person, your partner, your soulmate? Oh, there's a lot of competition. Maybe you have a lot of challenges and a lot of blockages you need to overcome. Okay. Uh, maybe you're a bit competitive or maybe you're taking action and going in with the wrong kind of energy. Okay. It's flirty. It's fun. It's all that. Maybe you're just looking for a good time. Maybe you're not looking for a partner. So you may, there may be a lot of competition around you too. So you haven't picked somebody out of that competition. Okay. Take it as it resonates. And it, this is obstacles. And these two cards work together. Yeah. So I feel like some of you are trying to figure something out. Some of you just want to play. I feel like you got this. I hate to say it. You can flip this if you wish. I'm not here to offend anyone. But this is the player card. So some of you... You're probably trying to figure out who is the, the somebody, okay? There may be someone here you want to fix something with, all right? You have some things you need to fix and figure out about how you approach. You may approach uh, in a flirty fun, taking the wrong kind of action, the wrong steps. You may have a lot of competition and you're still trying to figure out which is the person that's best for you before they get away. There's something here you're trying to figure out. I feel like there's someone who may have gotten away from you. Uh, there's a lot of competition, okay? That kind of energy. And uh, you're trying to catch somebody, I think, before they get away. So I feel like you're taking some action here. I do. I feel like you're about to. But like I said, if you have an energy where you just want to have fun and you're just into playing, I feel like there's some things you need to figure out if you, why you haven't found either somebody who just wants to play. That may be the perfect person for you that just wants action, just wants to have fun. Take it as it resonates. What you can do to find that perfect person Ah, you need to be clear, clear on your intentions. Yeah, I feel like some of you do want a new beginning. I feel like you do, like you're ready for something new. And I feel like you need to be very clear when you start a relationship. You need to 
cut out the competition. You need to figure out who is the right person, okay? And I also feel like there is somebody here that you're tr trying to figure something out to fix something. Someone may have gotten away from you recently. There may have been some conflict or something, but mostly it's you're kind of in that player mode and I feel like you need to be clear if you want to have a new beginning with someone you need to be honest be it clear you need to be more open all right there's some truth here all right with the sun the sun exposes everything so I feel like you need to uh, expose this energy within yourself these are some obstacles some of you are just playing um, and I feel like it's like you have a lot of competition. It's like you take a lot of action and you're having it's like you're trying to just have a good time but I do feel like there's something that you need to figure out. I do feel there's someone here who may have gotten away. You need to go within. This is food for thought. This is a person who's sitting here trying to figure out if you want to have a new beginning with someone who may have gotten away. Okay? Or trying to figure out who's right from you for you. But I feel player mode. Some of you are definitely in that player mode. Taking the it's creating a lot of challenges, right? That's why you have a lot of competition. There's a lot of challenges and conflicts I feel like you're having because of this, though. So you're probably trying to think about having a new beginning, uh, being more clear, clear with yourself about what you want. All right, figuring things out, figuring out what you want and who you want. And that's the idea. You need to expose this. You need to illuminate this within yourself, but you need to be clear to the person that you're um, going towards that you would just want to play, that maybe you don't want to have a committed relationship. Interesting. All right, yes, yeah, so, oh, there you are. Yeah, so some of you are going through some kind of a process. Uh, you're taking your time. Some of you are planning for the future, like you are concentrating on your money, your finances. You just want to play. I feel like you are trying to figure out who, out of all the competition, all right, that you want to have a new beginning with, who to expose your feelings to, expose this to. Is there some things? Yeah, some of you may work a lot. You work on facts and figures, okay? You may work in finance, things like that interesting enough yeah you're going through some kind of a process paying attention to the details trying to figure things out whether you want to have a new beginning or you just want to keep playing Ooh, some of you got that player mentality big time here okay um or maybe it is you have a lot of competition you're trying to figure out who's a player and who's not and you're trying to expose it so you're taking your time you're looking into the future who you see a future with some of you are planning for your future okay maybe you've been taking a long time you have a lot of people to choose from uh, you're thinking about taking action in the future uh, before one of the persons like you might be trying to figure somebody out if they're playing if they're for real if they're for if not okay uh, before you plan a future with them it's something you've been going through i feel for quite some time you're taking your time you're looking at all the details Whew. and who is the right person for you ah so the right person for you isn't that interesting is somebody who is planning for the future somebody who is financially stable you want someone who's wealthy i feel like you want somebody who is planning their financial future you know it's something far off i feel like you just want you want someone who just wants to play but they're stable they're grounded they're practical about it they just kind of go through this um I see this clarity. There's a need for clarity. Like is something you're trying to expose here or it's being exposed uh, within yourself <clears throat> about whether you want to play or not. But you, the perfect person for you is someone who's just like you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Someone who's uh, possibly a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth energy who likes to take it slow, likes to work. All right. Works with facts and figures. Maybe you want somebody who can do your books. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to figure out who the person out of the competition does the book so whatever it is it's like i feel like you have a lot of challenges and this is what's keeping you from finding your person i do feel like you're being a bit of a player you're not so sure whether you want to have a new beginning if you're clear about it clear about the future but you're planning and you're working through it and then we have where you may find to this person oh yeah i feel like some of you you're going to find to this person uh, some place where it's fun and lively and playful, okay? It may ha may not be revealed yet where this is going to be, but this is an energy. Like, if, as far as where goes, it's some place where it's fun, lively, playful, okay? And I feel like, too, this is all coming together. You're looking for someone who doesn't want to necessarily feel the need to stick around, to have a future. I feel like it, but you are, I feel like you're going through some kind of, 
transformation. Like they're in, I feel like you're looking for someone who's just like you, that just wants to play and have a good time, that just wants action. And uh, I feel though the need, like you're having some trouble finding the perfect person that'll suit you, that just wants to play around. Okay. And uh, I do. I'm sorry. And you just need to be clear about it so that there is no conflict. Okay, you need to let this person know. You need to be very clear that you're concentrating on your money and you want someone who's just like that. So there you go. It's what it's telling me. And a message. Oh, yeah, where when you may meet this person. Yeah, you may meet this person at a pub, okay, something like that. You may buy something and look at them and check them out. But I actually feel like you're looking for someone who's just right. And I feel like it's not the right time. <clears throat> Okay, because but I feel for some of you, you're looking for someone who's exactly like you that fits into that mold. They just want to have fun because you work a lot. You want them to be in that same situation. So it works, but you need to be clear. And I feel like you want somebody new. You're looking for someone new. Um, I see possibly a younger uh, fire sign, somebody who comes towards you um, someplace here where it's fun and flirty. So I feel like it could be a bar. You may meet somebody at a bar, a pub, or out in the community where you buy something for someone over the counter. You may check somebody out and feel like they're just right. But I feel as though you need to find some kind of balance here. And it's about being honest, being true, exposing exactly what your intentions are. Okay. I do think some of you are definitely trying to figure out out of the competition who's right. You're trying to figure it out. You want to make sure you're not being played because you may have a lot of money. And so you want someone who's got that same energy where they have a lot of money and then you're not really right. There's no need for that player type activity where somebody just wants to come in uh, because you have a lot of money or they have a lot of money, that kind of thing. Wow, you're looking for your complete carbon copy. So I, I feel like that... Yeah. There is something here to do with some kind of healing, some kind of balance. Uh, you're looking for someone who's exactly like you, that's just right, that you can uh, just have that kind of energy. I feel like the timing isn't right right now for some reason, so let's see what Spirit has to say. Yeah, so here we go. Yeah, I feel like the Spirit's telling you, you need to set yourself free from something. I feel like Spirit's telling you it's time for something new, a new way of looking at things. They're telling you, yeah, you do get a lot of attention because you're successful. You want somebody you can give your attention to that is successful as well. Somebody who fits the mold is just like you, that doesn't want to be played, okay, because there's always some kind of conflict or competition. And I do feel you get a lot of attention because of it. And I feel like the perfect person for you is someone who is successful, that's ready, ready to set themselves free. I feel like you're going to meet somebody at some point here, but I feel like it's not quite the right time, but I feel like it's coming. I, I feel as though you need to set off on a new adventure and look for that person who's just right. But there's got to be some balance there. Uh, you're definitely looking for someone where there's that chemistry, okay, uh, that you fit, right? Like you're just a perfect mold of each other. But there's something that needs to be healed and released here to find that balance. And I feel it's uh, about being clear because you're having a lot of conflict. If you are just wanting to play and you want someone who wants that, you definitely need to expose it and be clear about your intentions, that you're planning your future, you work a lot, you don't have time. You just, you don't want to stick around. Some of you don't want to stick around. You want to take your attention and your energy to a lot of people because you're all about the chemistry and the passion, uh, that first meeting. But I feel like there's something that needs to be healed definitely here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have to clarify this. Crazy, you guys. Some of you are probably trying to figure out who's right for you out of the competition and you're being very careful. You're not being played. Uh, I do feel it's possible there is someone who may get away and you're trying to figure out how to have a new beginning with them because they are just like you. Some of you, it's like that, right? I know what it's like if you got money and you've worked hard and you've it's taken you a long time to get where you're at. You're afraid of losing it for somebody who doesn't plan on sticking around too, right? So there's that. But I do feel you're going to meet somebody. It's going to be fun, uh, playful. They're probably going to be someone with a lot of energy that gives you all the attention you like okay you kind of want that <laughs> but yeah you might want to be careful there's something you need to set yourself free from some of you just want to be single like spirits saying 
Um, you know, it's obvious you want to be single and you're always setting off for a new adventure, a new person, right? Uh, because you have all this um, kind of in, uh, people around you that are coming in for the fun. Uh, but there's conflict, there's competition, and it's telling you to set yourself free from this energy and to go off and find that perfect person. So it just may not be quite the right time. You have to let go of something. And it's more than likely the competition. You have to make a choice and figure out who's playing you, who's not, who's right for you, and who isn't. Wow. All right, tell me about this five. Yeah, so some of you have some worries and some stress. You have a lot of competition. They stress you out because there's always conflict. Okay, yeah, so this is what happens, right, when you're not ready for a commitment, but you want that... You want some action, right? You got to be honest with people. You got to expose it. You got to put it out in the open and let them know what your intentions are. You got to be clear. If you want to have somebody that's in that same energy as you, you got to tell them that. You may have to set yourself free a lot and go take your attention elsewhere until you find that perfect person. And I feel like some of you are having a hard time. You're being very patient, all right? Some of you to find that right person who doesn't really want a commitment. But I, I also feel like on the flip side, a lot of you are trying to figure out who's playing you and who isn't. So you're kind of playing around till you find that right person that fits perfectly. Yeah, so you're manifesting something here. Look at that, Virgo. You're manifesting something, uh, a new beginning. I feel like some of you are trying, you might be wanting to go and fix a situation with someone, okay? I feel too. I feel like there is a person in your energy. Uh, they could be uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, possibly. I'm seeing Sag energy here, definitely. Uh, I feel like it's more your energy than theirs, but it could be both of you. Hard to say. I see some Leo energy here. Yeah, I feel like you're manifesting a new beginning, maybe manifesting uh, something new, a new way of seeing things. You're trying to get clear with yourself. There may be someone that may have gotten away due to conflict because there was... Um, too much competition, there was some kind of a challenge you may regret, but I do feel like you have a lot of attention, and it may not always be the kind of attention that you want, so it stresses you out, and I feel, right, I feel like some of you don't, you work a lot, like you're really planning your future, and it's taken you a long time to get where you're at, and you've had a lot of stress, so you really don't want any kind of conflict, like, and you're just not ready, some of you, definitely not ready for a commitment, some of you are working about thinking about having a new beginning and fixing a situation with somebody there was conflict with that may be just right for you. So let's have a boo. Yeah, it's going to be a little different for some of you. Tell me about the sun. I have to clarify this one just to make sure. Yeah, so some of you definitely um, are turning your your backs on the emotional part. Some of you are thinking about moving towards something more emotionally fulfilling. You're trying to figure things out. You're trying to get clear with yourself. You're working through the details. It's been a long process. So I feel like some of you have a lot of new beginnings, but you're always walking away. As soon as there's any conflict, any drama, where you just don't want to deal with it emotionally, you don't want to be emotionally invested. But I think some of you are thinking about a new beginning, okay, with somebody here. Wow, tell me about the king of pentacles energy why is this here yeah so yeah you're thinking about being emotionally invested you are thinking about this energy of offering up cup to have a new beginning to expose your feelings somebody you might have fallen in love with one of the your people that are competing for you <laughs> there may have been some issues with this person over competition some kind of conflict and i feel like there's some regrets stress but I really feel like you don't want any kind of uh, fighting. Like you just don't want that. You, you're. I feel like you've got a lot of attention. You, but it's starting to stress you out. So it's sort of something that you're manifesting here. You're going through something as you're figuring it out slowly. You're up in your head doing a lot of thinking. Yeah, you're thinking about exposing your feelings, having a new beginning, um, being more emotionally available, offering up love. You're thinking about that. It may be time. Wow. 
So yeah, if you haven't found that person, I feel like some of you have found that person and that they're a perfect fit for you. All right, that there is some kind of balance and chemistry. They're, they're a lot like you. You're looking for someone who's just like you. You just need to be patient for a little longer till you balance something out. There's something that needs to be released and healed here again with the temperance. Okay, you need to temper your words, temper your thoughts, maybe temper some kind of behavior. Some of you get a lot of attention. You just want to be free. Maybe you give off the impression that you're not around for you know the long term so which is obvious okay uh, so you're always having to go off and find someone new where there's that chemistry you want that chemistry I feel like it's really important but there's something you need to temper about that uh, the way you take action you need to temper everything slow it down a little bit and be patient this is being patient with yourself till you work through this some of you are definitely uh, thinking about offering up love, uh, a new beginning in love with someone. Now, they could be a fire sign, energy, Sagittarius, Aries, uh, maybe a Scorpio, it's possible, uh, Leo energy. Uh, they may be younger than you or they're just full of energy. They're lively, right? Full of energy kind of person. So, yeah, this is the Empress. That's what you're thinking. Yeah, so I feel like some of you, some of you may have several people. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio. Um, you're looking for an empress. Uh, some of you may have a couple of people. Uh, they both may have fire in their chart. You may be setting yourself free from one person who's immature and young and going for somebody who uh, has those empress qualities, someone who has everything that you want, which is someone who's very much like you. You're looking for a carbon copy of yourself to a degree, <laughs> someone to plan a future with that can go through everything, take the time to move forward, okay? Wow. So there is this fertility energy, and I feel there's some Libra energy, some Taurus energy. It doesn't have to be, but you're looking for somebody that's um, nurturing and loving, down to earth, all right, that has a lot of abundance, somebody that has a lot of possibilities. So there is a birth of something new. I think you're coming up with some new ideas. You may meet somebody new. You're probably looking for somebody new. So you're going off to to uh they may be somebody who has given you attention in the past that you may have set yourself free from you may be thinking about a reconciliation uh energy but if not some of you definitely are going to go off on adventure and find that person so some of you are tired of this life tired of the conflict the challenges the competition whatever it is and i feel like you're ready you're thinking very much about this empress energy so you may be leaving one and going towards somebody who is a fire sign, but maybe more uh, has more abundance, has more of the qualities that you want. Uh, they're full of abundance life. They're n very natural. They have this possibly some healing qualities, that kind of energy, grounded. And uh, yeah, something new. You're looking at something new. You're seeing somebody differently than you did before. Uh, because you're figuring something out here that you're seeing somebody may be different. So some of you, you are going after, you're going to go and get that person. Some of you need to release. There's a little bit of arrogance, a little bit of attitude. Okay, somebody's got a really big ego. It's time to release that, all right, to look at that and to temper the ego. Okay, because you get a lot when you get a lot of attention, you start to get a huge ego, and it's not always a healthy ego, so you might want to release a little of that, sort of move away from it. Okay, it's time to move on from that energy and be more practical, more grounded, more reliable. So, there's definitely a healing energy there. Yeah, it's saying to put an end to this. This is causing a, the, the your ego is causing a lot of painful endings. So, I kind of feel like anytime somebody uh, you move on from one person to the other. There's always conflict, all right? There's always this fighting and this conflict, and uh, it's starting to stress you out. So I feel like you, it's time to put an end to it because you're having a lot of painful endings, and I feel like something may have ended rather painfully with one person who you've now kind of figured out may be that person. But some of you are definitely just going to put an end to uh, this the ego or being free because it's causing a lot of pain a lot of stress and you're looking you're waiting patiently for a new person some of you you are going to have someone new so tell me yeah you're going to release that sagittarius energy and always off an adventure looking for someone new because some people like that they just like new they love that new chemistry it's always so wonderful right but it causes a lot of conflict there's a lot of stress revolved around that okay uh, that needs to be released so I feel like you're going through something here and you're making changes 
And uh, some of you definitely are just scared about being played because you've been planning your future financially for years. Yeah, so some of you need to get clear. You need to make a decision. And some of you are going to become clear that it's time to temper some things. Some of you are trying to learn about yourself. Okay, your ego, things like that. Uh, some of you are just going to be clear. You need to be honest with yourself, right? to heal this to release it so there is a need for clarity and truth if you decide to move towards someone because you see them as that ten of cups right you need to be clear you need to make your intentions clear so if you really just want to play and you're having a hard time people you know you're having a lot of conflict and because you're kind of always you're never really sticking around with any one person because every time the emotions come out and they want to move this person expresses to you they want to move they have feelings for you and they want to move forward you're ending it okay and you're not holding people in high regard okay and uh, it's causing a lot of problems and likely starting to bring in a lot of stress so it's time to end it all right put an end to that ego um, and being free some of you are going to be set yourself free from being single and searching for someone new you're going to go back and re reconcile with another person some of you are just going to be patient while you get clear with yourself and it's definitely if you want to come towards somebody you need to make your intentions clear if you want to keep just playing and being single you need to be honest you need to hold the person in high regard you need to release the ego where it's kind of like you don't you're not treating people properly because uh, you just sort of feel like somehow it's okay or something. But you're not making, you haven't made your intentions clear to people. So it's time to bring in the honesty and the clarity. Uh, so I feel like you're coming up with some kind of plan, uh, some kind of strategy about being clear. And uh, you're really doing a lot of thinking. And I feel like you've been learning a lot about yourself. And it's a wonderful energy, actually. People, you know, everyone's got something, right, that they need to heal. Uh, if you're ready to have a new beginning, express yourself to a particular person, right? Because it's like every time someone expresses to you that they want to move forward with you, you run away. You turn your back on them, and you're not holding them in high regard. They're, it's making them feel badly. So they're likely taking off in another direction because they're not getting what they want from you. And, right, so then you're left in this, what just happened here? <laughs> <laughs> right because you have to be clear you got to be honest you got to let hey i just want to i just want someone to connect with once in a while you know uh, what do they call it um friends with benefits kind of an energy but not everybody's in for that some people are holding themselves in high regard they're waiting for that perfect person now uh, there's you know if you got this empress energy person here uh, around you there is somebody here that you hold in high regard that has has that um this person's looking for an emperor, okay? So that's generally what, you know, the other person's looking for is an emperor or an empress. So take it however it resonates, male or female. So very interesting. Yeah, so I feel like if you want to offer somebody a cup, you may get what you want. You're trying to be clear. You're trying to temper your thoughts and everything while you go through this process. You're planning possibly a reconciliation or you're going to have a different strategy and you move forward with the people that you connect with. You're going to learn to temper things uh, and be honest and be clear that you don't plan on sticking around, okay? Uh, or you don't know. You might just see where it goes. But it's like you're looking for somebody who doesn't want commitment. Uh, I feel like you're going to have a lot of trouble. i got to be honest, okay? If you're clear about people, they're probably, if you tell people the truth that you really don't want to stick around, you just want to come in for the action, they're more than likely going to walk away and go find that Ten of Cups somewhere else with someone who will offer them love. And they will go get a new beginning. They will walk away, okay? i got to be honest, it's right here. So maybe not everybody, but maybe you just need to find that person who's just like you. And I feel like you're being patient. You've waited a long time, and it's hard to find that person. So there's something you need to manifest. To manifest a new beginning with someone who's like you, you need to be honest. You need to fix something, okay? There's something you need to figure out how to fix here to have this new beginning, and that's be telling the truth. And not walking away. If you really, if there is someone you love and you want to express it and have a new beginning, you have to be emotionally available. You got to offer up that cup, nine of cups, ten of cups. Some of you offer one cup and nothing more. Uh, some of you are becoming clear. Uh, there's a certain person here. You're hoping if you offer them a cup, they accept it. But if you are going to hide behind a false mask and you're not going to speak the truth, okay, you're going to keep that hidden, all right, so that you can get what you want. I feel like you're going to, it's just going to keep coming back around. So, yeah. 
you got to be honest. I mean, you're, and it is going to take a long time um, to find that person who wants to stay single but has a lot of abundance like you do, okay? It's going to be very hard to find that person. So you're going to have to be patient. You may have to strategize a new way. Uh, you may have to give people what they want. You may have to give some people what they want. Uh, you may need to be a little more emotionally available. Uh, maybe somebody, there is somebody who doesn't want to live together or get married, but they want the love, they want the emotion. And maybe that's the problem is you just need to be more emotionally, you need to express yourself more emotionally, all right, to get them to stick around. Wow. We have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, so see, yeah, so some of you definitely... Um, if you don't get what you want from somebody or people, you don't offer people what they want, they will set themselves free and go get attention elsewhere. Some of you only offer one cup and then you set yourself free. So if you're thinking about having a reconciliation with somebody and your strategy is to do that, they are going to take off. They won't stick around because anybody who's successful like yourself also probably gets a lot of attention. You have to think about it that way. Yes, my goodness. Let's see what the Romance Angel Oracles have to say. Yeah, some of you definitely, you're, you're trying to learn something. You're learning how to temper your feelings, your emotions. You're looking for that person who just... Uh, but I feel if you don't give this, if you don't get a wish come true, like some of you, if you can't just offer one cup and keep everything to yourself, your emotions, you go off and get attention elsewhere because you get a lot of attention. You're, you're, you've been very successful at doing that to a degree, but they keep taking off because you're giving one cup. They want more, all right? So you don't want anyone to come and you don't want to offer them any more. So I feel like you're just going to constantly be searching for someone new. Uh, you do have success. You do have a lot of people around you. Uh, for some of you, this is reading is going to pertain to a smaller amount of people. Um, I can tell too. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. All right, what is the outcome of this situation for Virgos? Yeah, so some of you are having a hard time releasing an ex, okay? Yeah, there's someone here that you have some regrets to do with the competition, the challenges, some fighting, something happened. You may be regretting it or you're just stressed about it. Maybe some of you are having a hard time releasing something that happened between you and a person who you probably had a really good connection with, okay? Something happened, so all, it's going to be different for all of you. So some of you want to release this person, but you're having a hard time to, or somebody has released you because of this energy. And uh, there's something here that you're learning through this. Okay, now whether they've done it to you, because the reading can flip that way, all right, where someone's done this to you. Because <laughs> I, I do see for some of you people, you really want to manifest a new beginning with someone. There's something that needs to be fixed to have this new beginning. All right, you have all the tools you need to offer love and a new beginning, but you're trying to make sure whoever you pick, you're going through a lot of stress, you get a lot of competition, it worries you uh, that you're being played, okay? So some of you are think about you're being played because you're financially stable or they're coming after you for money and you know, that kind of thing. So yeah, so some of you cannot release this ex Okay, or someone has released you, but there's love here. This was possibly a romance of a lifetime, and I feel like somebody offered one cup and set themselves free and uh, went off to get attention elsewhere. Somebody needs to free themselves from their ego, and uh, if you want what you want and you want your wish come true, and you want to move forward with somebody and you want to move towards somebody who is successful and you want to have it, you've got to be tell the truth. If you just want to have that kind of relationship where you get together, but there's got to be some emotion involved, I see for some of you. For others of you, I think people are going to be like, no, careful what I wish for here. No, 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 I'm, I'm out of here, right? <laughs> so, but there's some true love here. You have the possibility. I feel like you, there is possibly somebody, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, that may come towards you. you got Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus. Uh, Libra energy here. Some of you may have Libra in your charts, okay? Or Gemini. Yeah, so there is true love here. There is engagement. Uh, I feel like you're going to engage with somebody and talk to them, okay? Like you're going to come together and talk, and uh, it is safe for you to love. So there is somebody who is safe to love. They are. You're looking for someone where it's safe, where they have, uh, they have a lot of success, 
okay, where you can get what you want, they can get what they want out of the relationship. Ooh, it could be the one. Some of you may have actually found the one. You've been playing for a long time and you may actually find them. Some of you are still looking for that one and you need to, some things you need to learn to do. You need to release yourself from the ego because there's something that keeps your relationships keep ending painfully or the people keep ending things and taking off because of this ego. All right, so keep a mind on that. So you may have already found this person. You've already met this person and you may have lost them. They may have gotten away. Maybe you're trying to figure out if they're gone, if they've started something new with someone else, whatever the situation. Uh, for some of you. It's, this is a little different. This is a big reading. <laughs> yeah, but I had to dig into it because I had to see all the variables because I can guarantee every single Virgo that watches this intentions isn't to be a player. And uh, because I do see some stress, some worry, some regrets for some kind of challenges for something that happened or some of you are just sick and tired of the challenges of having a lot of people coming after you maybe what they come towards you with the wrong intentions in the wrong way and you feel like you're being played but you have everything you need to fix this and you may already have one person around you if not the person who comes towards you next once you change your strategy uh, there's some things that you need to to heal and let go of this is your message from spirit right you keep setting yourself free and it keeps ending painfully. You need to set yourself free from the ego. It's time to stop being free, too, and getting attention from other people, going towards them in that energy, if that is you. If not, you're going to have success. This whole, whatever happened here, whatever it is that's going on, is going to come to an end, and you're going to find that person. It could move towards success, but you have to, each have to give the other person something that they want. Okay, it was a wish granted, so really nice. I wish you guys the best. Take care of yourselves, and uh, happy hunting. <laughs> Bye for now.